a little low. A little bit, but it's a game of misses, right? Mm -hmm. Like you now have the ball going in front of you, moving yes, forward instead yes, of, I'm not sure where this thing is going. Listen, I would not be mad at this. <laughs> just the knowing, like I, I, I've tried to restart so many times to where I'm like, I'm just going to restart and not have power, not have distance and do it right. Yeah, yeah. Brick by brick. Then I find my way reverting by skipping steps again. So this is, this is a good foundation. The thing about what you just said, though, is so important to understand. A lot of people think they're supposed to try and like build a golf swing, right? That's what you were saying. Like, all right, I'm going to go back. I'm going to have no power. And I'm just going to start like doing step by step. Make sure my setup's perfect. Okay, now my setup's good. Now I'm going to have a perfect takeaway. Now I'm going to have a perfect backswing. I think of it the exact opposite. I think of it as like a piece of art. And what I'm trying to do is carve away all the, that doesn't need to be in there to reveal what you naturally want to do. Mm. And so instead of trying to build a swing with no power and then hoping at some point that you swing develop as hard power, as you can and digress from there. But what, what that is, is like mechanics will, if you have perfect mechanics, like if you taught me how to shoot a perfect shot with perfect mechanics, my elbow's right in front of my shoulder, my wrist is here, I got the ball on the right of the fingertips. I could have perfect mechanics, and but I does that mean I'm gonna be a great shooter? Cause I don't have the feel, right? right? Perfect mechanics will sometimes give a player really good feel but the right feel will always give the player the right mechanics mm. or it's not the right feel. Mm. So what I'm trying to do is get all the off of you and carve you into like what you already are because this is not a rocket science move. This is just a really basic throwing motion. And once you understand that, I don't want you to go back and try to perfect it with no power. Like the first thing you need to do is understand how power is produced. Like when you looked at my swing and like I did a video where I showed my swing and Tiger's swing yeah, and they're like really similar, similar right? They're very, very similar, they're not exact but he's a better golfer. I'm not Tiger Woods, right? But my swing's pretty good. But the whole thing that allowed me to understand how to move like that was understanding his power source. And that's what I spent years and years and years trying to understand. And I'm like, I tried every lead side pattern thing you could possibly imagine. Mm -hmm. When I realized, like once you understand how somebody produces power, you can go from there. then the mechanics are there because the only way to produce that power is with those mechanics. So I didn't try to say, okay, I'm gonna make my takeaway exactly like Tiger Woods. Well, I did try that years ago. I knew that wouldn't work, mm. but I tried thousands and thousands and thousands of swings. And I'm like, if I just understood what it felt like when he's producing speed, then I would understand what his swing mechanics are. Mm. So I actually went the other way. I said, I wanna- I hear you vividly, yeah. like what you're saying. I promise, yeah. like, I see what you're saying. You're saying, see it and come backwards versus starting from here to stack up. Yeah, you. you gotta produce power. You gotta understand how to produce speed. I hear you. Get the ball up in your stance just a hair more. Okay. Yep, there you go. That's gonna help you get back behind it. Now, this way with your spine. There you go. Give yourself a little bit more room behind the ball. There. Now you have room to release the club. All right? That was pure. You can't release it from here. You got to release it from back here. So I should start behind it. Absolutely.